Sir, my name is Justin Higgins. We talked about the possibility of you and I speaking today in regards to what your experiences have been in your life. Um, just about sharing today. Right. Okay. Sir, what is your name and how old are you? My name is Michael Lawson. I'm, my age is 32 years old. Sir, how long have you been homeless? I've been homeless about four or five months now. I mean, I just have nowhere to go. When you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, my dream when I grew up, I wanted to be a cop. My foster parents that took care of me, he was a police officer. And that was a big dream of his, was for me to follow that. What is your happiest memory? The day my daughter was born. That's... Yep. <clears throat> How old is she now? She's 12. I want to ask, do you sleep in the shelters? No, I currently, I was in the shelter, and it's so hard for the shelters, but I was current, I was in the shelter, um, I messed up my leg, they exited me from the program, so I had no choice but to come sleep in the woods in a tent. You know? What are your religious beliefs or your world views? Mm, I really don't have any religious beliefs. Uh, world views would be, I don't know, I really don't, I don't know. Well, just getting rid of poverty, I guess. Just helping each other, I guess. I don't know, I really don't have any. So kindness. Kindness. What do you consider living a limitless life? To me, a limitless life would be to see people happy off the street, not to be treated like animals, you know, not to be thrown to the side as a disgrace to society, like we are treated as homeless. So it would be a life where society is based on supporting one another. Supporting one another, reaching out, I mean, just helping one another, you know, just to say, hey, how are you doing? How are you, you know, hey, have, have a nice day. You don't even get that. You get looked at like, I don't know, like we're trash. Uh, once you're tied over to homeless, you're just like an animal. You're, they have no regard for you whatsoever. I'd like to give you an opportunity to share your heart and your message with the world. If you could tell everyone what's on your heart, what you believe, what would you like to tell them? I would like to tell them to stop hating one another, help one another, treat each other as Americans, don't look at the color, don't look at the, the sex or the, you know, just be happy, man. Treat each other, I don't know, treat each other like we're supposed to treat each other, you know? Just be, give each other a chance. Give somebody a, a helping hand. Look out, look at, you know, when you ride by and you see the homeless guy stand on the corner, don't. You don't have to necessarily give them a dollar, just smile and wave at them, you know? Maybe they didn't need to smile. Maybe they're, they're, maybe you're, you know, most people in this world are only two steps away from being homeless or so, you know? Everybody's right here where we're at. It's just, they're not, you're not there because you got a helping hand, you got somebody, some support. But we have no support. I'd just like to thank you for this opportunity that we had time to spend with one another and let you know that I love you very much, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'll, whatever I can do to help, believe me, okay. I'm doing it. Thank you. And Thank God you. bless you. You too, my friend.